Hey, so over the last year, I have received tons of questions from my rare disease community from adhesive arachnoiditis patients and Tarlov cyst disease patients. So since I've been on this journey for close to six years now, and I have had such a blast being in a support group online and getting to know so many, um, it just happened to be that I, I land with a lot of people asking me questions. So um, I really wanted to be able to answer those one at a time and get them out to you as quick as possible. So here we go. All right, so the first question I'm gonna answer is for this video, and that is, ah, yes, this is the big one. So from Tarlovis's patients, I often hear, how did you know that you have, sorry, that you have adhesive arachnoiditis? And that's really tough to answer, and I've probably written this a hundred different ways to different people. Um, I just, I just knew because the symptoms that I was experiencing and were becoming worse about one year after surgery, um, they were outside of the norm, which is already a really rocky recovery for Tarlov cyst surgery. Um, Tarlov cyst surgery, at least in your sacrum, can really encompass so many symptoms from the waist down. Everything from tailbone pressure, perineural pain, um, hip pain, bilateral or one-sided, um, leg pain, shooting pains, um, gosh, nerve pain in the feet, difficulty walking, weakness in your legs, uh, bowel or bladder hesitant, hesitancy or overactivity, either way. Sexual dysfunction, all those things um, depending on which sacral nerve roots you had operated or were being compressed, it takes time for that nerve to calm down. For me, <laughs> I had 10 sacral nerve root cysts, so um, I think now I've met one other Tarlov cyst person that had all 10 operated on, but prior to that, I don't think anybody else had had that many. Um, at least in Dr. Fagenbaum's operating experience of however many thousands of patients he's operated on now. So we knew it was going to be an extensive recovery. We knew that it would be the one to two years of recovery and that I may not get all of my nerve function back, but by relieving the compression, I would have an opportunity to heal and stop progressing in Tarlov cyst disease. So that being said, um, about one year post-op, I started having um, falls. I started falling and I started having um, more weakness and numbness and very strange sensations in my legs, zapping, shaking, and I could not tolerate a car ride at all. Like even going to the chiropractor and back once a week, which is a 15 minute drive, flared me up for several days. But the benefit of getting the adjustment and the benefit of doing the other things I was doing with her um, outweighed the flare-up, if that makes sense. So for so many years, I was totally taking every single tiny activity that I once took for granted and weighing it against a pros and cons list of whether or not the benefit outweighed the fallout. So um, how did I know I had adhesive arachnoiditis? Because my vision started having problems. Um, I could not discern my depth of field. Um, I started getting like, you know, flashes of white or black. Um, I was blurry. I was seeing things like, like when I would read, the words would like pop out to me in some areas and go back in other areas, um, or it would just straight up be blurry. Um, and that was a big red flag. And so we knew something was going on in my neck, but, as far as the lower body stuff, like, y'all, I could not be upright without severe fallout. Every time I was up, I either had dizziness or nausea. Um, and I just, I've gotten to the point where it's so much more under control. It's hard for me to remember what days were like. 
But when I hear some of y'all talking about where you are, it always takes me just right back. Like all those years of being 80% confined in my bed and, you know, just resting for a week or two at a time to make it to a recital at the boys' school or something like that, like maybe twice a year. Like, I don't think you understand. So many people will contact me and say, oh, I think I have adhesive arachnitis, but they're still working full time. Um, they're, they're driving, they're living life normal, but in pain. And I had no normal life. I was literally confined to the couch most hours out of the day or the bed, not because I was tired, but because I physically could not sit up or stand up. Like the fact that I'm sitting in a chair is a miracle. And really that did not happen without major, major struggles until a year and a half into the tenant protocol, which was, you know, what I did for treatment for AA. So how did I know I had AA? I just had an inkling. Like, like I said, my recovery was not the normal roller coaster of Tarlov cyst disease recovery. I kept getting worse after the one year mark. Um, and I could no longer travel. Like I couldn't even go get help out of state. I had to rely on God's help and intervention to get me to an adhesive arachnitis doctor virtually. Um, and that's where it was confirmed. I finally got in touch with Dr. Boris Tennant and he said I had severe progressive AA in my cervical and in my lumbar spine. So it wasn't even in my sacrum. My sacrum was a whole different area of issues going on. I literally was in pain from head to toe 24 seven. Like I would say my pain was at a seven, but I'm sure most people might've thought of that as a 10. My 10, um, is when I gave home birth to my child and had a severe injury during the home birth and no anesthetic. Um, that was my 10. That was, and I passed out and that was my 10. The only other time, and, and because I just take that so seriously, you guys. So when I say seven, eight, nine, I was impaired in a wheelchair and a walker, if I could even be mobile. Um, and you know, when I was mobile, man, it was just such a fallout, such a fallout for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, so I don't know if that answers your question, but that is one of the biggest questions I get all the time. How can I tell the difference between Tarlovsis and AA and how do you know if you have adhesive arachnitis? So I hope that helps. Please leave your questions in the comments. And if I can make more videos to clarify or maybe pick out a certain thing that you have more questions about, I will do my best to do that. All right. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.